Hi there, welcome back to Supernatural Sunday. Today I'm going to be watching episodes 13 and 14 of season 4. Season 4 has taken me so long to get through and we're like only halfway done. There's just so much going on and I just I never have time to film. I don't know when the last time I filmed was for Supernatural. It was over a month ago. Yeah, that sounds about right. But hopefully soon, maybe I'll be able to do weekly reactions. Maybe this summer. But also I have a lot going on this summer. I'm filming my series, Trial and Error. So that's, that's fun and exciting. So stay tuned for that on my film channel. Premiere September 1st. So in the last episode, I'm trying to do this like from my memory. I think episode 11 was like the ghost, the ghost girl, but she wasn't really a ghost. She just grew up like hidden in the walls of the house. And then 13 Reasons Why Guy, um, Dylan, Minette, he was in it. Um, what was his name? Buster? Buster died. And then the last episode was about the magicians. Yeah. So, oh, oh, end of last episode, Sam went with Ruby. And that's where we left off. So this first episode, episode 13, is called After School Special. Um, this one like kind of sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard the title like Supernatural before. Anyways, subscribe, turn on the bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. And without further ado, let's watch Supernatural. She's such a slut. What? <laughs> what? Fine, I guess. Oh my god, that's... Go to the road. Is that Octavia? No. Oh my god. I was like, it looks like her, but also it kind of doesn't. Don't you feel sorry for me, fat ugly pink. Octavia, we're about to throw hands. Oh, she's gonna summon something. She's gonna do some weird... Oh, all right, she's gonna summon some shit. Oh, maybe she is the shit. Oh, oh my god. I was not expecting that. I thought it was gonna be something supernatural. That looked like something you'd see in Criminal Minds. Oh, that, oh, okay, here's the supernatural bit. You're ugly. <coughs> Bless me. They think I'm crazy. Well, I'm a little bit more open-minded than most. There? Candace? Candace? Let's go. I need to get back to the vampire diaries. On the day this happened, did you happen to smell anything? Anything? Sulfur? Black smoke? What are you, crazy? I uh, know, but you are apparently. We were went there like for a month, a million years ago. Why are you so jazzed to go back? I'm not. I just think it's worth looking into. Alright, well, what's our cover? FBI, Homeland Security? Wait, so what was the okay. whole thing with Ruby at the end of last episode? Wait, this is younger. That's younger Dean. And younger Sam! Butterfly. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to remember, what's our age... Four year age difference? Wait, hold on, 97. Yeah, we can do some math. So if he's supposed to eight... If he's supposed to be 18, then he's supposed to be 14. He looks a bit more like 12. Or 13. Whatever. Please say hello to Sam Winchester. Hi, Sam. He looks so wow. little. Is there anything you'd like to tell us about yourself? Not really, sweetheart. <laughs> Take your seat. No, he's gonna be bullied. I can tell just from that look. Candace! <gasps> Whoops. Essay assignment. I'm Harry. Now I want You're what? Me. You're a wizard, Harry. Aww. I said leave him alone. How you write about I want to know how. All right, let's get started. Good luck. I was not expecting janitors. Is Today, Dina? You will have the honor of playing one of the greatest games ever invented. Dodgeball. The game Dodge. 
Zoe play. She says it's dangerous. Take a lap. But <laughs> he has too much power. The whistle makes me that god. Right. Good hustle, Colby. <laughs> Walk it off. Oh. He's possessed. Oh. Nah, he's about to kill him with the blender. Yeah, put his fist in the blender. Sam was right there. The black from his ear. Ugh. Do you reckon this ghost is like someone from school at their time? And like that's the connection. That's why they're showing like all these flashbacks. Like someone died or got killed or like whatever while they're at school. And that person, I don't know. So there was only one death on campus. It was a suicide back in 98, some kid named Barry Cook. Wait, Barry? So what, this ghost is possessing nerds and using them to go after bullies, yeah. Oh, Sammy. Your parents just let you stay up all night, don't they? My dad's out of town on a job. It's just me and my brother. What? I do whatever I want, whenever I want. It's perfect. Don't you miss your dad? Um, no. He's cool. Yeah, he thinks so. <laughs> oh my god, this kid. Sammy, beat him up. Beat him up. Yeah, he's get gonna up. get up and beat Fuck you up. up. Self-control. Love it. Wait, is it... Is it Barry, though? It's too soon for this. Dean. I'm gonna rip his lungs out. It's not a big deal. I don't want to be the freak for once, Dean. I want to be normal. Mr. Winchester, can I talk to you? Is the ghost the bully? I don't know. You know this assignment was non-fiction, right? Oh no. Yes, Mr. White. So you and your family killed a werewolf last summer, huh? Mm-hmm. You can flunk me if you want to. I'm not flunking you. I'm giving you an A. Have you ever thought about pursuing writing? I can't. I have to go into the family business. Do you want to go in the family business, Sam? No one's ever asked me that before. Well? Sweetheart. What did anything know? Sam deserved his own life. Dean too, but like Dean seemed like he wanted he wants it. So I you know I traded in the money and prestige of being a doctor for all the glamour you see around you. It's Even like a nightmare being surrounded by high schoolers. Hey, that's so cute though. Coming back all these years later, but you're in the family business. Excuse me, sir. <gasps> Can you tell me how to find room 305? She's possessed. Thanks, Sam. Um <gasps> That's the bully. I hope no one else sees this, because this looks weird. Deja vu. What the hell? Sam, the bully. Maybe it wasn't Barry. Maybe we missed something. We just gotta go back. Martha dump truck, Revenge of the Nerds, and Hello Kitty, they all rode the same bus. Okay, so maybe the bus is haunted. Well, that would explain why there's no EMF at the school, but not the attacks. The ghosts can go wherever they want. So a spook just grabs a kid on the bus, and Walked right into Truman. Here, ghosty, ghosty, ghosty. Now come out wherever you are. And the bus driver is Dirk McGregor Sr. 59 North Central Avenue. McGregor? I knew his son. The bully. You know everybody at the school? <laughs> come on, freak! Freak! Yeah, he can fight. He can fight. Let's go, Sam. Wasn't. He was cremated. Of course. Of course. I kept a lock of his hair. Oh, that's that's nice. Oh no, someone's about to be possessed. You want to ease up on the pedal there? I got it all under control. Why? Why, why is it nighttime? Dirk. Ooh. Ooh. Aren't you the PE teacher? <laughs> yeah, we start you in better than everybody else. How do you think Sam's a bully? That's so... That's stupid. Oh, jeez. 
find the hair. Yeah, I was just gonna say this is gonna keep happening. So just find the hair. There we go. Oh. He's wearing the necklace. Now they've switched roles. Oh, Barry. Mr. White? Mr. White? Yeah. But my name is Sam Winchester, and it's kind of all been one long horror story. Oh, what do you mean? Just life? No, sorry. <laughs> and so did you? you? Matter, so do your own thing, then. No. Yeah, uh, for a while. Yeah. Oh. You took an interest in me when no one else did. That matters, so. Thank you. Thank you. You happy, Sam? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, sure. So that was season four, episode 13 of Supernatural. That was a great episode. It felt like just very long, but it was nice. We got to see more Dean and Sam history, you know, flashbacks. I just thought it was overall a good episode. So the next episode is season four, episode 14, which is called Sex and Violence. I wonder what's gonna happen. Maybe sex, maybe violence, maybe a bit of both. Okay, all right then, let's get into the episode. Yeah, so what happened with this? Window, window. My heart just jumped. What? Ted's kind of cracking the whip, isn't he? I'm working my ass off. Damn. Okay. Chill. No, I'm sorry. No. Don't offer him food. Let him starve. I don't believe you. He has to be possessed or something. This is just... Fine. I'll do you want to have a fight or something? He does. <laughs> oh. Are you talking to Ruby? Okay. Alright, talk soon. <laughs> that was so loud. That was so loud. Get this. Third local inside two months to gank his wife. No priors on any of them. All happily married. Yeah. Mr. Benson. Benson? I've been watching regular show. Rewatching. Because she made plans without asking me. Yes, yes. Logical. No, I Ari, so Jasmine is the cause of this, if that's her real name. It's hard to explain. Then why'd you kill her? For Jasmine. This is like she some... said we would be together forever. This is like some poison ivy thing. I don't know where she lives. I don't know her last name. I don't even know her real first name. Judge doesn't give me the death sentence. I'll just do it myself. Oh, hello, doctor. Special Agent Styles, FBI. Styles? Is she Jasmine? No way. Can I see your badge again? Oh no. There was one thing. Um, oh. an anomaly. Then what showed up? Oxytocin. And their levels were- It could have been anything else but oxytocin, but- I only added this to my playlist like maybe a week ago. I swear if I watched this episode like two weeks ago, I would have just kept watching. I wouldn't have stopped it for anything. You know how it feels when you first fall in love, the whole weak in the knees, tattoo you on my chest thing? That's oxytocin. I didn't even know what oxytocin was. <laughs> what is this? Uh, this is my partner, Agent Murdoch. Murdoch? Styles and Murdoch? Styles and Murdoch? So, um, <laughs> can I help you with anything else? Okay, uh, that's it. Thanks, Doc. Uh, <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. Each guy hooked up with a different chick. Or maybe so it's the same one, just not house. named Jasmine. You know, it's almost like they were in some kind of love spell. It sure seems that way. Which caused them to become totally psychotic. Absolutely. Maybe. We are on an actual case involving strippers. Finally. I stay out of their hair. When's Bobby coming back? Siren? Like Greek myth siren? The Odyssey? That makes sense. 
desires can read minds. They see what you want most, and they can kind of like cloak themselves. Oh, that's you know, crazy. Like is that Jasmine? Or Aurora? Ariel? Whoever? She's my mom. Like I said. Amazing. Ah, uh, no. I could be with you forever. No, forever sounds like a really long time. And bash your brother's brains in. No, let's just. No, let's just put her in a nursing home. Wait. He... Did you see that? That hesitation? We're gonna hear it. Oh my god. So, he's gonna check and see that he was calling Ruby. Who's Elsa, next? Course, I was gonna say Why Elsa. Elsa wasn't around here. Forget your cell phone. <laughs> yeah. Dusty green Bobby, green. let's go! Oh, hold on a sec, I'll put you on speaker. I must have missed your name in the credits. Once it's done, the siren's gotta watch your back. If she gets a dose of her own medicine, it kills her. Doctor! Yeah, Dr. Dr. Roberts! Dr. Roberts. Yeah? Excuse me, uh, oh. we're a little busy here, buddy. Oh no. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. So am I, pal. <gasps> what are your badge numbers? You're kidding, right? I'm just following the protocol. Look, man, whatever. Just uh, call our AD. We'll sort things out now. Is that Bobby's number? That better be. Uh, it seems that they've been put on my case by mistake. You're questioning my authority. Yes. <laughs> you got a fool. Well, next time you want to waste my time with stupid questions, don't. Bobby. <laughs> oh, my God. He is an icon. What do we got? We got federal marshal, FBI, CDC, police, health department. Bobby is literally the best. He, he needs to show up more. Look at this. I feel like I found something that uh, connects all the murderers. Really? Why me? Because I gotta get the blood samples. What the hell am I supposed to do with him? You driving an Impala? Yeah. It's a 67, right? Baby. <laughs> They're missing. What? The blood's gone. Look at that, they're bonding. Are we both feds? Yeah, I know. I just, you know, not a lot of feds as cool as us. You know? I mean, you know, sometimes a serial killer will leave an object behind, like a uh, calling card. See the blower like this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I knew. I don't trust her. Haven't you ever been in a relationship where you really love somebody and still kind of wanted to bash their head in? No. I was the one who brought it up. No, 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 don't drink it. She's not pouring one for herself. It's medicine. So what happened? Mm, no, no, no. It happened. He drank it. Stop now. Why does it look so airbrushed? Um. I can't stop thinking about. She's the siren, right? Stop. Right? Maybe the flowers don't mean anything. And you're not picking up your phone. We were trying to find the blood sample. Someone stole one. Yeah, I'll bet. A dead ex-husband, Carl Roberts, dropped like a stone, no warning, supposedly a heart attack. Well, maybe it was a heart attack. Did you sleep with her? No. Holy crap, you did. <laughs> it's not Kara. I feel fine. I'll bet you do. You don't trust me. No, because this could be the siren talking. I gotta handle this, Sam. By myself. I think the sirens worked a mojo on him. Give me a call as soon as you get this. <sighs> Do you think what? She's drugging these guys? But I have my reasons and they're good ones. So she's gonna have to trust me on them. They're literally best friends now. She could be injecting them. You know, or passing the toxin through uh, physical contact. Or it could be for saliva. You really should have wiped the lip of that thing before you drank. Oh my god. Wait a second. I was not expecting that. Dean's all mine. You poisoned him. No, I gave him what he needed. I get bored. Like we all do. And I want to fall in love again. 
Oh, ew. And whoever survives can be with me forever. It's the little stuff, the lies, Ruby. the secrets. Yeah. We used to have each other's backs when we're hunting down Lilith because you're too weak to go after her. No. Don't even think. Bobby! You the man, Bobby. Ew. Oh, this is gonna create some tension. Soda? Or is a driving agent? You hadn't shown up when you did. Done the same for me. More than once. Boy's gonna be okay. No. Yeah, fine. Yeah, good. Mm-mm. Come back soon, Bobby. Dean, look, you know I didn't mean the things I said back there, right? That it was just the siren spell talking? Of course, me too. So we're good? Yeah, we're good. So that was season four, episode 14 of Supernatural. That was a crazy episode. I did not think that the FBI guy, Nick, was going to be the siren. Like, that was the last thing I expected. I think for all of us, too, because we were, you know, ex expecting, I don't know, hot girl. That was a crazy episode, especially that, like just the fight between Dean and Sam, them getting, you know, things off their chest. And now that it's out in the open, now, and they're trying to avoid it, we gotta, you know, we're gonna have to deal with that. And yeah, it's crazy. I wonder when we're going back to, you know, the Lilith plot line because what has Lilith been doing? Just like sleeping? Watching Netflix? What is what has she been doing? Learning how to cook? Anyways though, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I will try to keep up with posting Supernatural so we can finally finish season four at some point. Probably in a couple months. Wait, let's see. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, a couple months. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye. By the way, I'm wearing the bitch bracelet. I didn't forget.